Hey guys, just gonna make a quick video showing this adapter for the Game Boy Advance. And I actually found this at a thrift store. It's called Power Rumble FX 3-in-1 Enhancer 20-hour rechargeable battery, which is pretty impressive. Um, even though the Game Boy Advance was very low-powered device with no backlight. Uh, rubber tip handles, built-in rumble, which is pretty cool, and it's activated by the audio, so it's still pretty, pretty cool. Um, and I bet it's not a lithium battery; it's a nickel metal hydride battery, and it the it's abbreviated N I I M H, I think it is. Um, this is pretty impressive that this has not yellowed. It's from 2001. So this thing is 22 years old, which is crazy. And they probably sold it in, in America, Mexico, and I think France, just based off the translations. Um, I got it for 12 bucks at a thrift store. Um, so this was probably in a container for who knows how long. Um, but I'm going to open it. I was thinking of selling it, but it, it's not that expensive. You can, I think I saw one on eBay for like 14 bucks plus shipping. So it's not really worth selling it. Um, and I have a Game Boy Advance, so I'll, I'll use it with that. Maybe a few more years will be worth more. And the fact that it's packaged doesn't really increase the price just by the fact that it's not Nintendo. Um, if it was like a Nintendo brand item, it would, you know, that does increase the, co uh, the price, like when it's complete in box or fully sealed or whatever, but this doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm going to open it. Um, I'm going to show you it. I'll charge it for who knows how long it takes to charge. Um, and then I'll use it once it's ready. All right. All right, guys, so here it is out of that package, which I must say, um, as a kid growing up in the 2000s, I hated those packages. Like, they were always the hardest thing to open, even with scissors. Um, so I'm glad people, you know, manufacturers stop packaging with that crap. But, yeah, it's they were a pain. Um, so here is the actual adapter for the batteries. Um... And this thing smells, um, it smells like solvents, plastic solvents. Um, it it kind of reminds me, I don't know if you've ever used a cheap blender or a cheap like motor and have it running for a long time and then it starts smoking and it smells like electronics. That's what this smells like, um, which is not very good. Um, so I'm not going to be charging this overnight because... What is that? Hmm. Wonder why it looks like that. Cause this can cause a fire, maybe. Um it's only four watts, but still. I'm not gonna charge this overnight. I have to, you know, monitor that it won't catch on fire. And I did notice that it's pretty cool that um, this site, like they actually went bankrupt in 2001. I, I tried to look up the site Interact website. Like this is the Interact accessories. They're actually part of Game Shark, which I, I don't think they're around anymore. So this is like their other stuff. I remember I used to have that little light too. Um, and then they have like a thing to overlay your Game Boy for some reason. And then I used to have, oh, I still have it, actually. This is for cheat codes, which was pretty cool. A TV tuner, I don't know why you would want that. And then this is a 2001 website right there, which no longer exists. Printed in China. So I'm going to be keeping that. That's pretty cool. And then it has a little manual here. And then, I don't know what this is for probably that PO box doesn't exist or is used by someone else. <coughs> but 
but yeah, you could hear the battery kind of rattle around, and I'm again, I'm pretty sure it's not even lithium, which is good. I think the nickel metal hydride batteries actually retain their strength in a, over a long period of time over lithium, um, especially if they're drained, um, because it's crazy. Actually, my Game Boy Advance SP, um. I have it in Mexico and I didn't use it for like like 10 years and I flicked it on and it still powers on it's it's low battery but it still turns on and um you can't say the same for for lithium um but yeah I'll share another video once I've powered it on and I'll put timestamps I know I'm talking a lot but um I think it's pretty cool to you know, go over the, all this wacky stuff and attachments for your Game Boys. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, so we're back. We have a Game Boy Advance. And then this thing has been charging. I charged it for at least 5 hours. Um, when it's charging, this does not light up. And I think that's an issue with my unit. Which is pretty crazy that it would break without being open but maybe it was dropped or something um and then we'll plug this in i don't think it's gonna work i've already tried it earlier but i'll show you guys so the batteries do work i'm gonna turn it on and let me just set it to on right here oh oh it actually worked Cause it's never worked before, so let me turn it on. Okay, that's interesting. So it's actually working. Okay, press anything. And that was a rumble. That sound was a rumble. Um, I tried it like four times before I started the video, and then this never turned on. Um, but I'm very glad it, it turned on this time. Um, and it's set to sound only. I'm going to put it to all. And let me put the volume lower. Let me see how do I put the volume lower. Okay. There's a lot of intro, so I'm going to pause it until it gets to the end, later on. Alright guys, so I'm into the game. And so it has its own audio. It's already set all the way up, but it's dependent on the audio from the Game Boy. So the rumble feature actually vibrates based off the sound. That's the only input it has to the actual game. So I'm going to race it just so you can hear the rumble. So it's very... Like it has to be very loud to hear a rumble. So there's actually more rumble from the music than the actual jumping. Okay. So let me let me turn it off. Oh, and that's another thing. It feels like when it's disconnecting, it's turning red, and I guess it's not a good connection. Um. Unless this thing's gonna die. Let me lower it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a connection. Um. Okay. Yeah, so it has sound only, all on, rumble on. So I'm gonna do rumble. And obviously the sound goes away. Alright, let me turn it off. 
And it's so crazy how old LCDs are. I think this is, that's what it is, an LCD, right? Um, the image kind of stays ghosted. You see that? Um, so, yeah, that's everything. I'm glad it worked because I was going to actually going to make another part where I take it apart. But I'm not going to be doing that because it worked. And the only bad thing is that this thing, um, the end cap is going to be missing. So I'm going to take this off for now and I'll just put it away. But it's pretty cool because, you know, um, it's a battery too, right? Um, but yeah, that's everything. If you have any questions, just let me know. All right, bye.